Hello everyone, it's Dee Rondinella, Technology Training Coordinator for the Stark Library with this month's Sewing Saturday. Today we're going to learn how to make a microwavable potato bag. I have a sample of mine right here so that you can see. You're going to notice it has a flap and it has a pouch inside of it. The really great thing about this is when I'm finished with it, I can throw it in the washing machine and use it over and over again in my microwave. Let's go ahead and get started. What you're going to need is a piece of two pieces of fabric that are approximately 9 inches wide by around 21 inches long. You're also going to need batting. Now this is quilter's batting that is 100% cotton and it also is approximately 9 inches wide by 21 inches long. Now to set these up you're going to have to do it in a very special way because you want to be able to flip it properly whenever it comes to sewing the sides. The first thing you need to do is place your first piece of fabric on top of your batting. In this one, you want to make sure that the wrong side of the fabric is laying on the batting, just like that. The next piece that you have will lay right sides on top of the piece of fabric, not the batting, but the piece of fabric. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to sew around the entire edge of both all three pieces and you're going to leave a small spot in the corner so that you can flip the fabric. I'm going to go ahead and sew this and then show you what it looks like. We're back now. I have sewed a quarter inch seam all the way around the outer edge of my three pieces of fabric. Remember we have our batting, we have two pieces of cotton fabric. I did leave a small space right here in the corner and I do recommend that you select a corner so that when you flip it to do the final seams that you'll be able to easily hide this space. Now what I have to do in order to flip this to the correct side is reach inside between the two fabrics, not between the batting, not between the fabric and the batting, but right between the two fabrics. There's a couple of ways that you can do this, but before you get started, I do recommend that you snip these corners off. All that does is give you a little bit of um, space for the fabric to lay nice and flat. I'm using a rotary cutter to do this, but you can use a pair of scissors as well. Once I have that all cut, I'm going to go ahead and flip the potato bag. And remember, between the two pieces of fabric. To do this an easy way is I reach down to the very far corner. By grabbing the far corner you can gently pull it through. And there it goes. Once you have it completely pulled through you will give it a press. If those corners are not tidy or you know look nice for you then you can easily use what we call a bamboo stick in order to punch them through. I just use my fingers because I don't want to punch a hole in the fabric. So I'll give my corners a little bit of a push and a shove and then I will bring it over and iron it. The iron helps to lay the batting down flat and it makes it easier to put the final seams in. So I have it all ready to go. Looks a little messy, but once you put the iron to it, it'll be just fine. Okay, I've got my iron ready to go. What I'm using here is just a simple starch with a misting bottle. It's nothing fancy. You can use water or you can use starch. It's entirely up to you. That corner that we had left open to pull it, I'm going to gently tuck down about a quarter of an inch on each side. And now I'm going to press. It takes a few seconds, but just be patient because when you have a flatter piece of fabric to work with, your machine will do much better for it. All right. We're just about done. I've got a couple of stubborn corners that I need to pull out and we'll be ready to go. 
I went ahead and pulled my corners out so that they were nice and pointy. I pressed it very um, crisp so that it lay good and flat because that batting in there does get a little on the poofy side. I turned it at the end where we had left an opening by a quarter of an inch and pressed that down. Now let's just go ahead and make our bag. Now the corner that you left open is the corner that you should pull up to be the part of the bag. And it's up to you how much of a flap you want to leave. I use approximately three and a half inch flap. The flap is the top of the bag that will not have fabric over the top of it. And it's going to need to lay over like this. That's what you're going to do when you put the potato bag inside of the microwave. So what I'm going to do now is sew a seam on this side and a seam on this side. And my potato bag will be ready to go. So give me a moment and I'll be right back. I have finished sewing up the sides of my bag and if you look closely you can't tell where the opening was at. I went ahead and I only sewed from the bottom to the actual top of the initial flap. Now you're going to see that we have our extra that will fold right over the top. If you wanted to, you could put fancy stitching on the flap itself or you could put a little more decorative stitching on the bottom. When you use this, just make sure that it does have that 100% cotton batting inside and you would want to follow the directions of your microwave when it comes to microwaving your, your potato. When you're finished, you can wash it and then dry it with regular washing um, detergent and with a regular fabric softener if you choose. I choose to use a clear fabric softener so the smell does not come out in my bag. When I'm done, I sometimes I give it a little press, other times I just simply put another potato in and microwave once again. I want to thank you for attending and I hope to see you again.